The Yokozuna returned triumphantly to get another Yu show in his march for number 10, but how many of his matches were exciting enough to make it to my top 10? Here's where I'll be showing you my top 10 matches of the Hatsubasho. At number 10, Kirishima pulls out his judo knowledge against Ho Shoryu in this win. Going chest to chest, it's Kirishima, a strong inside left. Nearly had the throw there, Ho Shoryu now pushing forward. Oh, but Kirishima trips him! Ho Shoryu, look at the disappointment in him! It looks like Ho Shoryu wanted to go for a leg hook, but Kirishima beat him to the punch, kicked out that left foot, and Ho Shoryu went tumbling. At number 9, Tobizaru gets robbed again, but he lost in high-flying, exciting fashion to Uda, so it's okay. Head to head, bouncing off of each other, Tobizaru attacking the shoulders, nearly got behind a big twist out and throw, but I think he stepped out before he finished off Ura. There is going to be a mono -e. It was called in favor of Tobi Zaru, but I think he stepped out first. Let's watch this again. Watch that left foot from Tobi Zaru. And uh, yeah, he definitely kicks up the sand right there. But I mean, look at Uda's position. What a strange push. Diving, pushing from behind. Oh, it's close. Oh, does the pinky touch the ground there? Oh, does the hand touch? Oh, no. Does the hand touch from Uda? Watch that right hand from Uda. It's a bit fuzzy. Oh, it's just for one frame, too. Like that pinky finger bounces off the clay before going back up. It's so close, I can't tell. They're calling it in favor of Ura. The hand did not touch. What a crazy close call for the man in pink. Number eight, Takanosho doesn't let this terrible Tachi eye stop him from winning. YouTube kicked him off. Takanosho, big charge for Koto Shoho. Takanosho survives at the edge, manages to get a good grip. Can't push forward for the finish though. Koto Shoho trying to go for the throw, but it's not happening until finally Takanosho finishes him off. I thought that was gonna be blink of an eye over right from the Tachi eye, but Takanosho with incredible defense at the edge. Fights hard for his Kachi Koshi. And number seven, Ho Shoryu pulls out a tricky throw at the edge in this match against Wakamoto Haru. Ho Shoryu taking some punishment up high, getting pushed back, but he manages to fight back into a grip. Nearly pushed out at the edge, but whoa, turned around and drops Wakamoto Haru out of the ring. Oh, Shoryu pulling that one out of his hat. It's the veteran versus the Rewa monster. Tamawashi and Tatami Fuji having a great back and forth at number six. Good answers. Tamawashi, Tatami Fuji, a battle between the old versus the new. For the first time inside the ring, it is Tatami Fuji getting a low charge. Tamawashi getting slightly lower. Tamawashi pushing forward. Has him at the edge, has to follow up, but Tamawashi couldn't get it. Now it's going back the other way and twists each other down. Tamawashi gets the win. This match isn't up here because of Kirishima's strong win, but because of the Gyoji's willingness to stay in the Another match. charge for Kirishima, pushing forward, trying to deflect Hokuto Fuji's charges too, but he's the one making progress. Steps back, takes out the Gyoji, his hat comes off, but he's still calling the match. Going for the throw at the edge is Kirishima. Hokuto Fuji can't finish him off. Kirishima still resisting the push. That gave, gave the Gyoji enough time to put his hat back on. And now Kirishima stuck in the middle of the ring with Hokuto Fuji. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> Slowing it back down. Kirishima it looks like he's in control inside right, outside left containing. The inside right for Hokuto Fuji. Hokuto Fuji pulling back for a throw. He doesn't convert it. Hiroshima standing him up at the edge. Gets the inside left. Pushes forward for the win. 
<laughs> I, I've never seen a Gyoji get taken out like that before. That was something else. Midori Fuji upsets the Ozeki with his own special move at number four. Taking his time, sizing up his opponent, his much smaller opponent. Going straight for the face, Midori Fuji got inside, double inside underneath the armpits. Kirishima trying to control, Midori Fuji trying to pull away. Kirishima pulling him up by that arm, double outside. Whoa, tripped and smacked down! Midori Fuji! His Shonichi against the defending champion. The Yokozuna hopeful falls. What a pull from Midori Fuji in control the whole time, but he still had to fight hard for it. Atami Fuji and Tobizaru, two of my favorites, have a fun technical match here at number three. Higher salaried ranks, Tobizaru gets caught immediately, tries to get the inside right around the back, but he can't get the inside left, getting tossed to the side, Atami Fuji couldn't finish him off, now Tobizaru trying to hand fight inside, kicks the leg to try to get an advantage there, it kinda worked, now he has inside left, loses it as Atami Fuji pulls away, Atami Fuji trying to control, Tobizaru going for a throw, it doesn't happen, now trying to get inside left again, but Atami Fuji smartly blocking. That right hand doing a lot of work. Tobizaru trying to probe forward, might be looking for another leg kick, has the leverage, trying to get the head underneath the armpit so he can get some more leverage. Look at that, he's pulling the arm up so he can get his head into the shoulder. That inside right already giving him a lot of help. But now it's Atami Fuji on the wiggle, going for the push. Tobizaru trying to resist with a throw, but Atami Fuji charges forward through him for his first win of the tournament. That was good sumo. Wakamoto Haru fights through a long, hard Staring match for down. his Kinboshi at number two. I don't know, Fuji, big smack for Wakamoto Haru, but in control right now. Tries to get the inside left, but Teruno Fuji chest to chest, that's his advantage. Can't get a grip on the belt, Wakamoto Haru fighting back across the ring. Defense from Teruno Fuji at the edge, bounces back from the Tawada, back to the middle of the ring. Wakamoto Haru still on the attack forward, but he's getting controlled now, slowing it down, and this is where Teruno Fuji needs to bring it back. Good fire from Wakamoto Haru here in the Musubino Ichiban, but the longer this goes, the more danger he's in. Teruno Fuji, you can see the lip labored breathing. He can't get a grip outside right on the belt. Wakamoto Haru has the inside left, and probably the outside right for himself too. We can't see it from here, but there he goes on another push. Teruno Fuji getting stood up. The leg trip coming through. It's not going to work though. Back to the middle of the ring, Wakamoto Haru. He's standing up straight, Teruno Fuji trying to get low, trying to drive those shoulders. That's the difference maker there, the leverage. You can see Teruno Fuji lowering the back, lowering the hips, trying to get low so he can get that leverage. Still trying to break the grip with that right forearm. Teruno Fuji leaning on Wakamoto Haru's chest here. No undone belt controversy just yet. I don't know Fuji trying to take the step forward. Does Wakamoto Haru have the strength for another attack against the Yokozuna? There he goes! Wakamoto Haru on the push, tries to get another leg trip. It doesn't work, but he doesn't need it. Keen Boshi for Wakamoto Haru! Upsetting Teruno Fuji, the Yokozuna. Nosebleed for his troubles as well. He's going to get a fat stack of cash. He's going to get a permanent buff to his salary. There goes some Zabuton. There they go, flying towards the ring. <laughs> we haven't seen this in so long, but there it is. One dude protecting his own head from other Zabuton. <laughs> <laughs> what a win for Wakamoto Haru. And of course, number one, you knew it was going to be Uda's special attack, the Tsutai Zori. Ura gets low, pushes at the chest. Ryuden attacking the face, pushing him, manhandling him, but now settles into a grip. Ura has the head under the armpit. 
Ryuden tries to block him out from getting that head under the armpit. Now in an awkward spot inside left for Ura, outside right, I think. For Ryuden, they're fighting for dominance on the inside. Ryuden trying to prop up Ura. Ura getting turned. Goes for the throw over the back! There it is! We haven't seen that move in years, and he finally pulls it off again! Ura! Oh no, there's a mono E! Oh no, I'm gonna be so upset if he doesn't get it. Ryuden's slow to get back up after that too, let's watch it again. Uda dipping so low, you can see that left hand trying to look for anything, throwing behind the back! I think Ryuden definitely touches down first. Uda no Kachi, what a win! Oh man, if that's not number one in the top ten matches of the tournament. <laughs> Holy crap, what a move! Right, Ryuden was trying his best to block it out, but Uda still slipped in to pull it off. That's, uh, it's such a good move, dude. We saw a lot of crazy sumo this tournament, and the next one should be just as exciting with the rise of Kotonowaka and Ono Sato, the return of Wakataka Kage and Haku Oho in Judeo, and a healthy Yokozuna continuing to show us why he is the top dog. Remember to subscribe so you can catch all the action live here on my channel, and become a member for as little as $1 a month to catch most of the past action, as long as there are no more commercials with copyrighted music getting the robots to block the video. We'll catch you at the next tournament, because until then, I'll be very busy with my wedding. Next time I see you, I'll be a married man. And we will catch you cats later.